hard work. These are the best medicine to kill the disease of failure. And now, gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? I would like to call our guest, the Toastmaster from Sharam Toastmaster Club, Mr. Khalf al for some inspiring and motivational words. Big hands, please. Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu once said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Managing director, our panel, faculty member, and our students. Since man was created, there has been an underlying theme that only reveals itself at times when we look the hardest. This theme, gentlemen, carried our civilization to where we stand today. And it is the key characteristic of every successful nation and person in history. This theme, gentlemen, is commitment. The state or quality of being dedicated to a purpose. Let me repeat that. Commitment is the state or quality of being dedicated to a purpose. And we are only alive to the extent we have commitment. For without it, we only exist. Like a rigid object that has no soul or spirit. However, we have hope as we all have dreams. But it requires commitment to bring those dreams to life. And the most critical aspect of commitment is it cannot be quickly manufactured. We must carefully cultivate it and deliberately nurture it to grow like a plant. Now what we do today prepares us for tomorrow. So I invite you to look inward. What are you preparing for? They say, show me what a man does on a day-to-day -day basis, and I'll tell you what he's committed to. Now take a moment with me and imagine. You decide to chase your dream with all the energy and enthusiasm, and you tell yourself, this time it's going to be different. On day one, you do well. On day two, you're a bit lazy. By day three, you quit. Now why is that? It's because commitment stands on three pillars. The first, <coughs> clarity of vision. The second, are your routine habits. And the third, is your community. Clarity of vision is obtained by spending as much time as you possibly can immersed in your dreams, engaging as many senses as you do so. Over time, your dream becomes clearer. And you know you have clarity of vision when your dream becomes simple. Not easy, but simple. The second pillar, gentlemen are your routine habits. You see, we become what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of our activities are conscious. Some of them are unconscious. However, collectively, they determine if we live a joyful life or a miserable life. Some of the good habits are going to bed early, to wake up early. Writing your to-do list the night before, and thinking and dreaming of obtaining your goal. The third pillar, gentlemen, is your community. 
This rupture disc was manufactured in Germany to the highest of industrial standards. It's made out of two materials, mono and stainless steel. Both have high corrosion resistance characteristics. However, look at the state of it. It's corroded. Why is that? It's because of its operational environment. You see, this was taken off a seawater processing unit. As these highly corrosive, resistant materials grow, as does your souls and spirits. It is communities like this that offer a safe harbor for success. And with that, gentlemen, our commitment structure is complete. Clarity of vision, routine habits, and the community. To conclude, commitment is nothing more than the state or quality of being dedicated to a purpose. And it stands on three pillars. Clarity of vision, routine habits, and the community. And with that knowledge, you are now ready to commit to your dreams. Thank you very much.